All right, folks, this is my haul video for the month of February. I haven't actually done a haul video in a while. Didn't really feel like doing so since uh, I already have an account on Twitter. And if you want to know my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash FXFrans. If you haven't followed me yet, if you're not following me yet and uh, you're interested to know what I've, I've bought. But I did purchase uh, several, if you're following me on Twitter, you know that I purchased a lot of Star Wars toys uh, for the month of February, and I want to show them off uh, personally and in a video so that you guys will know which ones I'm re reviewing and which ones I'm not. Uh, ch big change of scenery, as you can see, I'm on the bed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm on the bed. Uh, just beside the window, so it's a little bit noisy because of the ambient sound, but I needed some a bigger space so I could put all the stuff um, all in one place. So, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, first off, it took me a month to actually get all the Star Wars stuff that I need. Literally impossible to... to 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 collect uh, the stuff you need, the Star Wars stuff you need here in Manila, because Star Wars stocks are just pretty scarce nowadays. I'm not really doing as as well as Transformers or or Marvel. So um, first thing I, I did pick up, I made sure to pick up in the first uh, few weeks of of, uh, 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 of my toy runs are uh, where is it? I lost it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got myself the Phantom Menace Vintage Collection Darth Maul together with Darth Sidious. I made sure I got these two guys first. These were really at the top of my list. And I liked them so much that um, I decided I was going to review these two figures. I needed to get copies of them. So... I was lucky enough, and I found, yep, a couple more. I found one of each, uh, Darth Maul and Darth Sidious. So, two of the highly sought-after um, figures in this particular vintage collection wave. And uh, you know what that means. I will be doing a review of both of these figures. So, check it out. Um, stay tuned for that. Uh, I just wanted to keep um, them both in packaging. Next thing I needed to purchase was I knew there was a Clone Wars, um, a, fig a new wave for the Clone Wars figures, and I was hunting and hunting. I wasn't sure which ones were the new ones because they were done in the um, uh, the Darth Maul packaging, and uh, everybody looked the same. And I, I saw a lot of repacks, but um, I heard that there were three new figures and. I did go ahead and pick up the three new ones. Um, well, actually, I, I just picked up these two first um, uh, because uh, you know, Clone Commander Cody and the the new Phase Two Clone Trooper uh, thought I was done, and then somebody told me, "Hey, the Anakin Skywalker is an absolute new mold." I was like, "What? It's like a repack, right?" So he he told me. Uh, <laughs> Somebody told me, um, I think one of the store um, staffs or attendants at Toys R Us or something like that, I can't remember, I was like a couple weeks ago, and he told me, hey, you got to get the Anakin. And I'm, I was like, okay, fine. So, uh, on, I came back, um, and I couldn't find Anakin, so I had to go to another store. And uh, I went to another store, and I found another Clone Commander Cody. Went ahead and picked up, because I knew you guys would want me to review Commander Cody, so... I didn't want to review Cody because I wanted to keep it in packaging because of the new helmet. So I decided, you know, I want to review it, get a copy, and then I found Anakin Skywalker. He, apparently, this guy was very hard to find. Um, I, I did check uh, when I got home. I checked it with the the uh, uh, the latest Anakin of, of 2011, and it's, it's a different mold, definitely a different mold. I thought it was different because of this new gimmick thingy. Uh, but it's not. It's a, a completely new mold, and I'm pretty glad I found one. Wow. Uh, also, during that day, I picked up um, a movie legend. This is now what the movie heroes. Sorry, a movie heroes Qui Gon Jinn, and um, this is what they're calling the movie legends now. Movie heroes, and uh, 
I thought it was pretty cool. I did miss out on the three pack uh, that this figure was once uh, was once in, uh, included previously, and uh, decided to pick this one up. I'm still undecided on the Obi Wan since we already have too many, too much Obi Wan figures, and I, I figured, you know, do I really need another Obi Wan? But I'm on the fence about it. If I do pick it up this week, uh, I'll, I'll post it on Twitter. So, so that's that. All right, my second, um, second week. Uh, that's the first week uh, toy run, toy haul. Uh, second week of uh, looking around. I did find a couple more vintage collection figures, uh, and these uh, ones were the uh, the ones I I thought were pretty hard to find. Um, where is it? Oh, okay, here we go. All right. I found three of the hardest. Um, uh, again, I mean, the entire wave has only one of each. Twelve new figures, one of each figure. And uh, apart from Darth Maul and Darth Sidious, uh, three other figures where I thought were very difficult to find, but I did manage to find them. Uh, I got the uh, Quinlan Voss. Uh, vintage collection, the Anakin Skywalker Padawan vintage collection figure, as well as the Qui Gon Jinn uh, vintage collection figure. And I was like, on oh my goodness, I could not believe my luck. I did find these guys, absolutely picked them up. I could not find doubles of these guys. Um, actually, I did. Somebody already had picked them up, and. Uh, I, I I figured you know a lot of people have already done reviews on these figures, so didn't really feel the need to actually do a review on them but we'll see if I do find more of these um, I'll make sure to pick them out so I can review them but they're gonna stay in packaging these are just absolutely brilliant so I uh, waited a couple more days see if new stocks were arriving I decided you know what the heck I might as well go ahead and get the rest of the wave since there are a lot of cool characters I did find the rest of them um, where is it oh, here we go I did find Queen Amidala. How cool is that? Uh, she wasn't the most popular in the entire wave, but uh, I thought she was. This was a pretty cool figure. Certainly, if I haven't got any Queen Amidala figures, and I found this one uh, character debut Naboo Royal Guard. I actually thought this was going to be in a second wave for 2012. Did not know it was part of the first wave until I saw it. Uh, went ahead and picked it up. It's a character debut. Not the best figure in the wave as well, but uh, the head looks vaguely familiar. Head sculpt looks like a uh, Rebel Fleet Trooper or something. I don't know. But uh, I decided to pick it up anyway since it is a character debut. Ah, no more space. And I did find, I got Qui-Gon. Might as well get Obi-Wan, right? Too much Obi-Wan Kenobis, I swear. Uh, but, you know, this is going to stay in, in min on card. Not going to review it. Too many Obi-Wans out there. So, very happy to actually find it on shelf. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, I did manage to pick up... Uh, there was a three-pack. I heard about it, a, a battle pack. Um... And uh, I did find the Clone Wars Republic Troopers Battle Pack. This was pretty cool. I think this was the only one that was really worth getting in the entire wave. The other three packs were like the G Geonosis Arena Battle right there. Not entirely sure why they put this. This was in Episode 2. And this one is in Episode 4. Um, seeing the Rebel Heroes with Chewie, Chu Han, and C-3PO. I'm not entirely sure why they put these guys, but uh, I thought they were just crap. Didn't want to bother to pick them up. They were like repacks of really old figures. Um, the C-3PO was interesting here, um, but everything else is just crap. Uh, but this was really the only one worth picking up, and um, uh, if you divide the price into three, to each, each figure, they're still... Uh, the original, they still cost uh, the original price of 2011 as compared to the newer, more expensive figures for 2012. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. I uh, went ahead and picked it up. Uh, I really like this figure right here. Complete domino, domino squad. So that's that. We're going to put it right here. Okay, what else? Um, for Valentine's Day... Uh, I had spent a bunch of, I spent a lot of money for my wife, um, got her some flowers, 
uh, I did get her a new pair, a new pair of shoes. You know how women are uh, for Valentine's Day, and uh, she was kind enough to repay the favor, and she got me more Star Wars stuff. Uh, first off, I've been eyeing uh, this particular um, role playing. Ah. Yeah, come on now. All right, I've been eyeing my I'm eyeing uh, this particular role play toy for the longest time, especially when it came out. A couple weeks, I've told my wife, "Come on, can I please get a Darth Maul? I'll be Darth Maul uh, for Halloween." She says, "You do not need that mask." I was like, "Yeah, sure I do. It's for Valentine's." So she did get me the Darth Maul mask. I am well trained. You are no match for me. Fear attracts the fearful. Fear is my ally. I am a weapon forged by the dark side. I sense it's your fear. It's pretty cool. I absolutely love this mask. Um, I used to paint myself just like that for Halloween. I was back in college and uh, couldn't do it anymore <laughs> because uh, it was bad for your skin. So this was really a, a welcome uh, relief for me. And I thought, you know, pretty cool to be Darth Maul again this Halloween. And on top of that, my wife was very, very generous. Um, she bought me a couple more things uh, for, for Valentine's Day. You gotta love her. She got me the uh, Republic Assault Submarine with Scuba Clone Trooper. Unbelievable. I did not know these were coming out in February as well. Absolutely loved it. Told her, I gotta have it, don't have it yet. And says, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> and then I got... The Bark Speeder with Clone Trooper. I did not pick up the one with Jesse. Uh, the Bark Speeder with Jesse. Didn't pick up the one with Obi Wan with the sidecar. Never really liked uh, this Bark Speeder with the wheel underneath. I, again, I said it in some of my reviews, but the paint scheme on this one, paint apps, as well as the new Phase Two figure, really sold this set to me. And I said, "What the heck?" And my wife again was kind enough to get it for me. So really nice, uh, unbelievable. And yes, I did get the, uh, my wife actually got me the Attack Recon Fighter with Anakin Skywalker. Another new mold, or at least a new head sculpt for Anakin. And we never got the, uh, the Obi-Wan version with the Recon Fighter. Um, but uh, this one came out and I thought it was pretty awesome. Absolutely loved it. This was, I think, the best among the three. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. The others were just, uh, the others um, I think were the Stap. Um, the repack of Darth Maul with the Sith Speeder and the Naboo Fighter with Obi-Wan. Really wasn't interested in them since they were just mostly repacks. So uh, those three were actually good enough for me. So thanks to my wife. She's the best picking those up for me. Uh, or, all right. Uh, what else did I pick up? I did pick up the movie heroes. Went, ahead, went, went around again and I did see these guys. These are the... Uh, movie heroes Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi with light up lightsabers right there pretty cool I thought you know Hasbro was gonna make a lot of these light up gimmicks uh, for Thor for Iron Man uh, God forbid Captain America but um, the Thor and, and Iron Man they were they were okay gimmicks especially for Iron Man but Thor I didn't really buy it I wasn't getting it but f uh, for Star Wars absolutely bang on the money um, really spot on I think this gimmick absolutely works best with the Star Wars figures and absolutely had to get these uh, I will do reviews on these I think yes uh, all right a couple more things I did pick up uh, were what else oh okay here we go I did get the uh, Queen Amidala and movie her movie heroes Queen Amidala and Anakin Skywalker. I um, this is I think an updated version. It has a backpack and a helmet. I never got the version with the helmet, so I actually you know I thought this was pretty cool. Picked it up. I never had this uh, Queen Amidala in this uniform before. It's the first time I ever got this figure or, or her incarnation in this kind of uh, garb. So I decided you know it was pretty cool. Painted decently enough. So, decided to go ahead and pick it up as well. They're very expensive now. They've jacked it up like at least 20% price markup. Just sucks. Ah, what else? 
All right. Um, I did. I did get um, this guy, the clone trooper with the backpack. I never got around to getting the uh, the two pack that featured this clone trooper with the backpack. Uh, I figured, you know, I've never had that backpack before, so I decided, you know, might as well pick it up. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not the be not the best figure in the entire wave, but I, 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 seeming as I never had it before, my wife was like, "Why do you need more clone troopers? Clone troopers?" They were like, "You already have a you already have so much clone troopers on your shelf." And I said, "That's the point of the clone troopers. They're clones." And she just never got it, and she just went about looking for shoes. Anyway, um, <laughs> I know, I know, and I decided, you know, uh, apart from the vintage collection, Darth Maul. All the other Darth Maul figures were, a lot of Darth Maul figures were released. They were all repacks, and uh, I was really itching, see, seeing as Darth Maul was on all the packaging, I, was, I wanted to get one that had him and his picture on the package with all Darth Maul pictures and theme. You gotta get him, right? Uh, this is the one, yeah, I know, it's an old crappy figure, why bother wasting money on it, but hey, I love the head sculpt on this one, I've never had this figure with this kind of head sculpt, uh, this is the one that uh, when you squeeze his legs, uh, his his arms just shake a bit, shake about, and um, yeah, very, very cheesy figure, but anyway, I'm uh, probably going to keep this one in packaging, just so I could po have a, in MOC, Darth Maul with Darth Maul themed packaging. I know it's stupid, waste of money, but whatever. If I do, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get another one so I can review it, but I know it's a waste of money. Oh, okay, and finally, oh, not last of my Star Wars haul, I did go back to some some of my other stores. I thought they'd, they'd have re restocks of the vintage collection, and I was lucky enough. I did find the rest of the wave. I did get um, Dolte Dauphine, um, Rats Tyrell, both character debuts. Oh, and another character debut. I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, ben Quadinaros. I mean, I heard that Hasbro was talking about doing this figure. I was like, what were they thinking? I mean, why even bother doing this? Um, and when they did it, I was pretty impressed. I mean, just the amount of detail on the figure is just amazing. And I'm pretty glad I picked it up as well. And finally, just to complete the entire wave, we got the updated battle droid. Yeah, with the knees and fold up um, feature. And that's that. So that's Star Wars for the whole month of February. Unbelievable. I know. A lot of wasted money on that. I did pick up a bunch of other non-Star Wars things, uh, items. Um, there was one store uh here in my area it's called rustans it's a very expensive department store they were doing some inventory uh and they had dug up a, a couple of stocks in their uh, uh storeroom and they found this the secret wars uh, issue 12 uh two pack marvel universe comic packs featuring uh the thing and bulldozer i missed out on this one didn't really think i was i needed this um I thought I could pick it up on clearance, but it never went on clearance. It just disappeared, and I was kicking myself in the rear, saying I should have picked this one up. And I got my chance again. I actually picked it up. And, yep, still on regular price. Can you believe it? Uh, so there. Not sure if I'm going to do a review on this one. That's, I, I'm on my way to completing Secret Wars. Just need three more packs. All right. Uh, another I did pick up. I, you know, I watch a lot of SMU Toys um, video reviews and haul videos. Mock Diesel, he runs a channel called SMU Toys. If you haven't had subscribed on that from that guy, he absolutely does fantastic reviews, uh, store hauls and whatnot. And he he got me hooked on Mega Blocks. Uh, for some reason, I know shouldn't be collecting Mega Blocks. I'm spreading my funds thinly, but I did pick up the Marvel. Uh, Mega Blocks uh, figures series two. I picked up all, five of them. Um, I was just interested really in five of these guys the Wolverine, Uber Rare Wolverine, uh, Captain America, Red Skull, Thor, and Loki. And hopefully, you know, I got all five of them. I was interested in the drone or Mark V or Whiplash. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that I got 
all five of them with these. I, I tried feeling them with my fingers. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. I'm using my magical fingers to feel through things. I know. Whatever. Stop it, stop it. Yes, use your fingers to feel. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, finger everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I did finger through these. <laughs> These packs, and yes, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got all five of them, but uh, we won't know until I actually review them, so we'll probably see me re-review these um, soon, I hope. I hope if I got them right. And finally, finally, I haven't even gone to building the, the huge attack chopper from Pro Builder. I went ahead and got another one, the Pro Builder Carbon Series Limited Edition Attack Chopper. This is a smaller version. Uh, it's like one third the price of the big chopper. Uh, just really admire uh, how Mega Blocks does these new Pro Builder series, and um, I'm I'm hoping if I do get time to assemble them, uh, I'll do a review, a quick review, not quick review, it's a somewhat quick detailed review on these on these things, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to set aside time for that, and uh, yeah. Uh, the Creo figures have just uh, are just hitting shelves here in Manila as of this posting of this video, and uh, yeah, Creo Transformers, and uh, I am extremely on the fence uh, about these figures, uh, about these new Creo toys. Uh, I mean, I barely have enough time to do reviews from my busy schedule, much much less uh, time to build Pro Builder uh, Mega Blocks toys and whatnot, and I I. I pretty sure I, I might not have enough spare time to to build Creo transformers but who knows uh, the price here in Manila well compared to US standards they're pretty pricey but compared to Philippine standards uh, the prices of Creos are like a fraction of what Lego is charging uh, about a four one fourth of the price of Legos um, comparatively um, sets that have about 300 400 pieces there uh, the creos are much cheaper than what lego is asking for and it's a very attractive price uh, but again these are build figures they don't really transform you build uh, you build a robot, you knock it down to build the alt mode. Um, I'm still deciding on which one I should get or if ever I should get Creos. So if anybody's curious if I'm going to get any of the Creos, I am on the fence. Um, if, if I see them during a, a weekend mall sale, uh, I can get it at 19% off or something like that. I, I might decide, but, but I, I'm, as of this time, I am just not sure I'm going to get some any of those Creos. Unless... Um, uh, I, I do find them on clearance or at a lower price. So anyway, folks, uh, I do apologize. It's a lengthy video, but I did get a lot of stuff for the whole month of February. Uh, most of them will be reviewed. Uh, a lot of the vintage collections were just going to go MOC on my wall. Uh, so, so stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching. Um, uh, big shout out to a YouTube friend, PJ. Uh, she runs a channel called Fat Toys. Uh, she does a lot of haul videos. In fact, she does just a bunch of haul videos that are just absolutely amazing. Uh, she gets a lot of the really hard to find toys. A big shout out to PJ. Uh, I hope you did enjoy watching this, my haul video. And to everybody out there, thank you. Uh, to, to those who have uh, still uh, kept subscribed to the FX France channel and to those who have actually subscribed to the Shuffatron channel, if you haven't figured it out, I do have a second channel. Uh, which will have videos that will not be on the FX France channel, and do do watch uh, do watch some of them. And if if you like my videos, please subscribe to my other channel, Chefatron. Thank you, thank you for all the support. Uh, I, I promise to try and, and do this as much as I can. Uh, and, and, and just thank you, thank you for everyone who's who's really supported the channels. Uh, I, I like, I appreciate the comments, even the trolls, the haters out there. Uh, you're you know it's a democracy we live in a free world everybody's entitled to their own opinion and insults and whatever there you go folks uh, i hope you enjoyed my video video haul for the month of february um thanks for watching